Hello, Annie Coddier and today I'm going to be taking you through the automatic lighting system that I use in Rust. Really, really easy. You've probably seen some of these lighting systems before, maybe even the one I'm about to show you. But I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up and what to look out for when you're programming it to turn on and off. So the first thing you need is going to be lights. I'm just going to put two lights up there. You're also going to need a battery. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use a small battery. You're going to need an electrical branch. You're going to need a blocker. And finally, you're going to need a solar panel. This is pretty much the bare minimum you need for automatic lights in Rust. Now, solar panels, ideally, you want to space them south or north because obviously the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Once you've placed all your components, all you have to do is link up the solar panel into the bottom of the electrical branch. Super, super easy so far. Next, and this is a very important bit, you'll use the actual power out, not the branch of this the power out and you'll put that into the side of the blocker and that will block the pass through next all you have to do is use the branch out and put that into the power in of the battery so now the solar panel is charging the battery through the electrical branch again i hope you're following really easy so far next the battery will power the blocker now all you have to do self-explanatory there's only one thing left and that's to hook up the lights using the blocker again if you put it into a power in it'll activate a pass through and then you can use that pass through and put it into a power in of a different light and so on and so on remember batteries only output 10 power lights cost two which means you can power five lights in theory depending on what components you've got on each small battery now this is where it gets important you've got a branch out and you're able to alter the amount of power flowing through this branch out so if i set it to 10 for example that means when the power drops below this number the lights will automatically turn on and as it gets dark obviously the solar panels will output less electric so it will allow the electric to pass through and that will activate the lights obviously now there's more than 10 power being activated by the solar panel so that's blocking the pass through to the lights and that's charging the battery up at the minute with no lights on so when it starts getting dark for example here i'm just gonna fine tune the electrical branch and all you have to do is alter the numbers up and down slightly until you find the right balance you like to get the lights to turn on and off once you've done that you just leave it and it's all spickety boo as i like mentioned before as the sun starts setting it will provide less and less power to the blocker as you can see here i've sped it up a little bit so you're not waiting too much but once the electrical power drops below a certain threshold i.e 10 with this one because that's what i set it to the lights will automatically come on vice versa when the sun starts coming up when it rises above 10 it'll allow power to travel through to the side of the blocker and block power going to the lights however it'll continue to charge the battery and it is really as simple as that so as you can see here i'm stood back i've fine-tuned it and the lights automatically turn on now if you don't want them to turn on at this stage you can reconfigure the electrical branch to turn them back off again and then they turn on a slightly later stage and it's all about just finding when you want them to turn on and turn off and find that balance if you want to upgrade this to add more lights for example then you can add an extra solar panel so to do this again best practice to add one north and one south and then you also need to link these solar panels together Together. for this you need a root combiner i've touched on this in my beginner to pro guide if you haven't seen that video yet it's up in the cards above make sure you come back to this video obviously and all we need to do is link both solar panels into the bottom of the root combiner so i'm going to do that nice and quickly for you now once you do that you get lovely juicy power from both solar panels running out of the top of the root combiner all you do then is put it into the bottom of the electrical branch and you will have to configure the electrical branch again for the extra solar panel but once you've done that you can put a few more lights on just remember if you are using a small battery you can only get a maximum of five lights anyway you also need to remember that some components do use power for example splitters will use one power so that's something you need to take into consideration so i think i've milked this video enough if you did enjoy it feel free to leave a like if you want to see more you can subscribe and a new video will be released every single monday usually i'll be streaming every monday on youtube so so come and say hi. If you're watching this video at time of release, I'm streaming right this second. And again, people keep asking me about Patreon. Well, I've actually got Patreon now and here it is. You can follow me on Twitter to see what I'm up to. You can follow me on Instagram to see the video's thumbnails before the videos are even released on YouTube. So you get a little bit of a sneak peek. And again, we're over a thousand subscribers now. Really appreciate every single one here. Thank you. Let's keep the journey going. Let's keep supporting each other. And more importantly, I'll see you 
you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.